I've always, from the beginning, always been way more interested in sounds than I have. I mean, I love melodies, and I love me and Danny play guitars together, and we can make beautiful melodies, and I love doing that. But for me, I've all, uh, sounds really attract me. I love just making things up, you know? Making the guitar sound not like a guitar, or making just things that just sound like nothing you've ever heard before. That's always been way more interesting to me than playing rock songs. Well, I guess to begin with, we've always worked with some elements of improv, improvised music, but it wasn't really until we, we started working with Jim and um, we made some s just changes in the way that we approach the process of making music, which uh, really came to be when we worked on the record, We Moved Through Weather. We had a, definitely a breakthrough musically and started to focus in on a lot of improvising and it just was a, an epiphany I think for for the group. In the immediate future all the recordings that will be coming out are going to be more improvised but still still ideas behind it not just like a little bit of just going crazy but then also talking let's try something like this mixed with something like this and then also we all play together a lot so you sort of develop a relationship with each other, you know? And improvising almost doesn't become improvising anymore. It just becomes this thing of, like a relationship, you know? Like you know it so well, in a way, that it's not, it's not totally improvised, but it's not like you made it up, or you talk, you wrote a song. It's somewhere in between. You can't really 
describe it. I mean, I still consider myself a guitar player, but I have sort of branched out. I play the mixer a lot now, so I get signals from Danny and from Jim. I get Danny's guitar signal, I get Jim's drums in, in the mixer, and then I have guitar effects attached to the mixer, which then I can process their sounds and my own, vocals, percussion, and then I have a laptop just as an effect, adding more effects to this stuff all kinds of tapes, cassette tapes, more percussion, any kind of percussion I can find and records now too we use, Jim had a record player and a couple of Indian drone instruments, you know, like harmonium, do you know that? That's all. Uh, well, also with We Move Through Other, in addition to us feeling out how to improvise together, uh, we also kind of broke up onto this whole idea of um, of different layers of things. Like earlier, we were talking about different types of fidelity and, and mishmashing them. Um, we also kind of discovered this, like uh, working in generations, so that the song is never complete. So, like you can play a song, but then while you're playing, even if you don't perform with it, maybe you record it on cassette and then that cassette could potentially become a whole nother song or the basis for another song so that uh, the process is always feeding on itself so that no song is ever like a complete finished that's the song and that's the way it is and that's the way it goes because none of us have any interest in really doing that you know so like everything is ingredients you know there's no like finished meal so um so I guess our and and our and part of our equipment setup. I mean, our, our equipment setup now has completely evolved out of that because uh, when we were doing, we moved through other. Um, we had a similar setup, but it was a little different because uh, we had just started using a laptop in addition to the full band, and and using the laptop as you would an effects pedal, but for the whole band. So. Uh, we were basically all sending our signals to the laptop uh, and then that could, you know, you could select which things you wanted to put an effect on and put any number of effects on it and, um, you know, a lot of the drum sounds on We Move Through Weather come out of that, like an interaction between me playing with delays and stuff on my drums and then Jeff, you know, interacting with that with delays on the laptop. Um, but then so, then, so then we were we were realizing how to make like a kind of a communal sound, you know, where all three of us are making one sound instead of three different sounds, you know. And then uh, that kind of evolved into us each setting up our own station where we would get signals from e everyone else and then to do any number of things with, you know. So now that's just kind of gone to the nth degree. <laughs> This is Paul. He does films. <laughs> Without thinking about it consciously, I was very excited by how they worked, you know, and the kind of things that they've been talking about with you about uh, changing quickly and, say, doing the label to reflect that because they don't want to play the same songs they've been doing on an album that just came out but that they did a year ago. And so film is rooted in those kinds of things economically. And... Um, I thought that that could be different and that the relationship with them kind of gave me that direction that uh, it was possible to work very quickly like a musician or like a painter.
that works every day. Film is usually much more conceptual and organized and based on time, planning for six months to a year and then filming for a month. Meeting them and knowing them that they were making music the way I wanted to make films. And so uh, it became almost as if, to me, as a filmmaker, they were filmmakers. I identified with the process that they were following and the discipline and the kind of intensity of working every day, uh, which I didn't find in film the way I was pursuing it before I met them. The films are very close to them because of the process. The process is very similar to how they work. And then in terms of execution, it's, it's much more open and just allowing and accepting uh, whatever happens in the films to mingle organically with what's happening with them on stage or in their recordings. Just letting go and, and accepting kind of in an improvisational spirit. It's just part of the live show, you know, the live show is a totally different thing, um, and it, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same thing if he didn't show the films, you know, it's, it's, it's meshed. I see it really as a progression, and it's always been going on, and, um, I still think we're really melodic. I still think we're as melodic as we are on Bone to Satellite. It's just that it's in a different form. But the melodies are all still there, and the rhythm is all still there. Harmonies, all these things still happen. They're just taking on a different shape, sort of. It's not as literal. Oh, yeah. Jeff's got a fun bag. <laughs> awesome. No, 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 no. It was before that. One show that we were in recently, I just, in Italy, in Italy I found those terracotta bricks outside, you know, like those red, guys. little thin ones, and just put them in a big bag, and just would put the microphone in there, and, <coughs> and I used it for two or three shows, but I keep forgetting it in the van, so I haven't used it in, a, in the last week, oh, yeah. but, so yeah, we're, definitely, anything that you can collect for making right. good sounds he can hear the film projector. Sometimes the film projector sound will be heard in some of the live recordings. If we get real quiet. Yeah, and yeah. he's, you know, I usually that would be categorically the worst thing, you know, to hear... No that's way. the He's like, oh my gosh, the film projector. It sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, the film projector. <laughs> yeah, anything we can get our hands on, you know. I think we're, we're all really open. There's so much potential for textures and new textures and you know what the ability to share our sounds you know if I get bored with my guitar which I keyboard and guitar is what I primarily consider myself to to play if if in a live show or in a recording I I feel uninspired by those instruments or feel you know like putting them down I can just use my mixer and take from Jeff or take from Jim or take from both of them or you know pick up something in the middle of the room and just uh, go for it which is why improvising is so exciting is because it just completely it just dissolves any kind of role really in what we're doing there's there's no uh, pretense to what each of us play it's more it's more about how we can work the best together you know and that's really where we begin and end with with the instrumentation and with the making of music you know so it's wide open there's no boundaries